Well, <laughs> time for another valuable lesson in life. There's a picture here. And in the middle of this beautiful picture, with the luxury homes and the fancy cars, is a roadblock sign. So what I want you to do just for a second, I want you to just close your eyes just for a second, and I want you to imagine your dreams, your vision. Okay, imagine that that 5,000 foot square home that you want, you know, with the big terrace and the swimming pool in the yard. Imagine that luxury car that you desire to drive. I don't care if it's a, a, a Mercedes sports coupe or if it's an Audi A8 convertible. Okay, just imagine it, okay? Then, <laughs> open your eyes and look at that roadblock sign. Now just for, keep this in mind. The only thing between you and your vision is that roadblock. So the question is, what is that roadblock? Well, that roadblock is just another word for excuses. Okay, so let's see what yours is for today. Okay, uh, I don't know how to invite people to the to to the nightly call that we have, or I'm not sure to say when I meet someone when I'm out in Walmart or I'm standing in line at, at Starbucks. Uh, I don't have anyone to invite to a home travel party, even though when I go inside my smartphone, okay, I've probably got 200 contacts on my Facebook page, okay, I've got, I don't know, 1,200 contacts. You see where I'm going? Okay. Um, so, what else do we have for excuses? I'm afraid. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid they're going to say no when I ask them, you know. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to be rejected. That they're going to think I'm crazy. Especially my family and friends. I don't want them thinking I'm crazy because I'm in this network marketing business that could help them. Yes, it could help them pay their rent. Take care of their car payment. Save up for my younger brothers and sisters' education. Um, supplement their retirement because you know people are starving to death on Social Security. But I don't want them to think I'm crazy, so I don't want to tell them about it. In reality, what it really is, if you really sit back and think about it, okay, this roadblock that's in front of you, that's between you and your vision, comes down to a little too little word called no, or we could tie that to a four-letter word called fear. You're in fear of the word no, because no means rejection. Okay? And until you can overcome this belief that people don't want it, even though you know there's over 40 million of people in the United States of America alone that are living in poverty, okay, or I'm sorry, at the poverty level, that's what they say, okay? Even though that you see people fighting for a higher minimum wage, okay, even though that you know that your friend Marion uh, uh, is struggling with her uh, her 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 telephone bill or her utility bill. Okay, you hear somebody on the job saying that 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 paycheck is just not enough at the end of the month. So you have a solution, and it's a simple solution because all you need is just two, and then teach them how to refer to. But sometimes you know I think it's the frame of mind that you look at it in. You need to have in your mind that. What you really need to do is help to. You are helping people. You're not robbing them. You're not sticking them up. You're not trying to get over on them. You're helping people to put uh, the ex additional income in their household that they need to get out of whatever kind of jam that they're in. Because we know that 90% of the people are living above their paycheck. Otherwise, you wouldn't have large numbers of people working two and three jobs. I have one guy who can't even get into the business because he's working three jobs and he can't find time. Although he can, <laughs> but in his mind, roadblock, he can't find time. So I made this video to say one thing. If you truly, truly want to be successful, then you've got to break through the roadblocks. You've got to kick fear, which is tired to the word no, out of your life.
you got to start to tell yourself that the word no is a pleasant word. Because remember this. Normally they say for, for, for how do you say? Uh, it takes eight to ten no's to get a yes. Somewhere in, the, somewhere in that ratio. Okay, I'm not really positive. So you know that this is a numbers game. You know that you're going to go through a number of people. You know in your heart that you don't want everybody to see this. Because if everyone got it, if everyone was lined up to get into the company, it'd no longer be an opportunity. Okay? It would be like you going to, to Walmart and lining up to buy a box of cornflakes. Because everybody wants it. So that's what you don't want. So, if you want the things that are really behind the robot, the roadblock, your, your vision, because it might not be the same as mine, but I know you want a better lifestyle in some kind of way, then you've got to move the roadblocks out of the way. And the only way that you can remove those roadblocks is you just got to walk up and kick the sign down and continue to drive on. No, so what? Like water rolling off a duck's back. Who's next? There's somebody right there in your circle of environment, in your church, in your bowling uh, organization, or badminton, or whatever you do, in your, in your choir, if you sing in the choir, there's somebody that needs your help. And you know that because you hear it every day, even on your job. People are not satisfied I say like 90%, okay, are working the wrong job. But they have fear of stepping out and you can help them. And by doing that, you will break through your robot. There won't be any more excuses. You will be successful. And guess what? Jay will be seeing you at the top. Because I'm going to either see you at the top or I'll be waving to you from the top. God bless. Have an awesome day.